Welcome YouTube viewer, my name is Bert. Although this video is not a specific review of my moped brand, I do hope that it will inspire you to look into purchasing a moped for yourself. I figure that if every family in the United States had a moped and used it as a second vehicle, we probably wouldn't be having an energy crisis right now. I purchased my moped three years ago at a cost of $1,000 brand new. I have about 5,000 miles on it and it's paid for itself in savings already. There are many cost savings advantages to having a moped. For instance, in Michigan you don't have to insure the vehicle, it saves me about $600 a year. The license for the vehicle is purchased every four years on a moped at a cost of $12 instead of $86 which I pay for my car every year. And I suppose best of all, the greatest savings is 120 miles to the gallon that I get when I ride it. And just to note, virtually all met mopeds get, I would say, at least 90, so mine isn't really anything extra special. It is kind of common. If you're going to go look for a moped, one of the things that I would make sure it has is storage compartments. My moped has three compartments that enable me to carry um, about two full paper grocery bags worth of cargo. One compartment is underneath the handlebars, another compartment is under the seat, and the third is over the back bumper. I can also strap stuff on behind me on the seat with bungee cords. It's great for those quick shopping trips, and another advantage of riding the moped for shopping is you don't have to try to find a parking spot. Usually, you can just park it right next to the door. Riding the moped is very much like riding a bicycle, except you don't have to pedal. The accelerator is in your right hand via a twist grip. The front brake is a hand brake and the back brake is a foot pedal on my moped. Well, mechanically, the drums are drum brakes, or the brakes are drum brakes, and they work really well. My moped goes about 38 miles to the gallon on a level surface without any wind, and with the wind at my back, I can probably get up to about 50. And to conclude this, I guess my moped is not only great for saving money, but I, I really enjoy riding it. The, the mo maintenance on it is very low. You just have to change the oil, and um, there's not a whole lot to do with that. Fill the gas, pay, keep the tires full. It's a lot like the basic care of a car. It is a se seasonal vehicle for me here in Michigan, but I'm glad I purchased it. And I hope that this overview encourages you to go out and look into getting a moped for yourself and save some money, too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.